So we have a 70-year-old lady who uh, I saw in the office a month ago. She came to me from her local cardiologist complaining of palpitations. Um, they had done a Holter monitor and her showed that she had one brief episode of atrial fibrillation. Being 70 with hypertension, they wanted to put her on an anticoagulation, but the patient is very hesitant to get on anticoagulation. So she complained of palpitations all the time, so we did a one-week long-term event monitor on her, and that did not show any AFib, but when she complained of palpitations, uh, they were all PVCs. So uh, she came to me for a second opinion. At that time, I told her that even though she had one episode of AFib um, on her Holter monitor, but her symptoms did not coincide with her atrial fibrillation, but she was having PVCs. Um, so given that she's a CHAD score of two and she's having palpitations, the question here was what's the risk of stroke and what is the, what is the indication for anticoagulation in her? So to answer that question, we decided to implant a, a, a loop recorder in this lady. Uh, I've numbed the skin up and then I make a maybe quarter to half an inch incision in the left fourth intercostal space just a, a, perpendicular to the uh, sternum on the left side, and then I use a dilator tool to dilate uh, the pocket and open it up. Following that, I take the loop recorder and injector tool. I uh, push the device using my injector tool into the pocket, and the, the edge, I kind of push it gently in. And then as once the skin is approximated, I uh, put usually two to three staples on it. You can elect to suture it also, but uh, staples work pretty quickly.